Good morning, everyone. My name is Daniel Pella, coming to you here from First Presbyterian Church in Covington, Virginia. Starting out this Tuesday morning with a scripture reading from Romans chapter 7, verse 13 through 25. Did what is good then bring death to me? By no means. It was sin working death in me through what is good, in order that sin might be shown to be sin, and through the commandment might become sinful beyond measure. For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am of the flesh, sold into slavery under sin. I do not understand my own actions, for I do not do what I want, but I do the very thing I hate. Now if I do what I do not want, I agree that the law is good, but in fact it is no longer that I that do it, but sin that dwells within me. For I know that nothing good dwells within me that is in my flesh. I can will what is right, but I cannot do it. For I do not do the good I want, but the evil I do not want is what I do. Now if I do what I do not want, it is no longer I that do it, but sin that dwells within me. So I find it to be a law that when I want to do what is good, evil lies close at hand. For I delight in the law of God in my inmost self, but I see in my members another law at war with the law of my mind, making me captive to the law of sin that dwells in my members. Wretched man that I am, who will rescue me from this body of death? Thanks be to God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then, with my mind I am a slave to the law of God, but with my flesh I am a slave to the law of sin. That is our scripture reading today. If you will, please join me for a time together in prayer. Let us now pray together. Dear Lord, we don't know what this day holds, but we do know that you hold the day. It was you that laid the foundations of the earth and therefore understands every part of it. We know that you keep the sun, the sky, the stars in place and have created this earth for us to inhabit and enjoy. So we thank you for all the natural wonders you've created. May our lives be a living example of your Son, and may others see Christ in us as we go out today. There are many that are hurrying in this world, so allow us to help those that need comfort and assistance in this day. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thank you all for joining me here this morning. I hope to see you here tomorrow at 8 a.m. I hope you all have a great Tuesday today.